Allison Gabba here with Zach Crabtree. We're in Orange Power Studios control room and he picked out the top 10 offensive plays of this season. What's your number 10? Blake Jarwin's catch against Kansas State. Um, second quarter, we're down by six. A little pump on the on the bubble screen or screen. It was a turbo call, which is up tempo for us. But um, we pump fake it, get him to bite on the screen. We had ran that play a couple times. They had seen it, and uh, Jaws just stutters the guy and gets vertical on it. And uh, great catch by him. Great ball by Mason, and uh, he puts us in the lead uh, early in the second quarter. For this next one, we are headed to Fort Worth. Yeah, Chris Lacy. Um, Against, against the TCU Horn Frogs. Um, runs, a, runs a good route right there, gets, gets space, and Mason puts it on him. Third and goal, uh, late in the first, down by six. Uh, we need the big play there. You know, you don't want to walk away from the field goal when you get down inside the five, inside the red zone. And uh, Mason gave him a chance, and Lacey went and made a play with the guy draped on him. Uh, he's, he had a great year for his physical, big, strong guy, and uh, he used it to his advantage throughout the year. Number eight, a uh, player favorite from Chris Carson during Texas Tech game. Yeah, um, this is awesome. We need we need this to, to end the game. Four minute drill. Um, we got a minute left in the fourth, down by one, and we gave the rock to Chris Carson. Coach Gundy had told him prior to it, you know, to not get in the end zone that, that we wanted just to run the clock. Him and Coach Arroyo and Chris ran the kid clean over, got got what was needed, and uh, got down on a knee. Never seen anything like that. Um, strong kid, great run. Number seven, Bernie Childs. This was a turbo call too, if I wasn't, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he hit it out the backside. Great run by Rennie. Um, third and two, needed it. Second quarter, uh, gave us some separation. Or actually, hit it front side. He just bounced it. Got one on one with the corner. Um, juked the corner and got down the sideline. The running game was always in question all year, and I, I just felt like this was a play that kind of opened up the run in that game. That kind of opened up. Uh, that part of our season for us and really propelled us into having better running performances. Number six, we've got a pass play with Mason Rudolph and Jalen McCleskey. Yeah, big time play here. Um, great, great route by Jalen getting into the middle of the field, um, catching it, making a guy miss and going to score. Um, he, he had a breakout year this year, made a ton of plays um, for us and, and it was much needed. It was right before half, if I'm not mistaken. and. Uh, to really just put six more points on the board and, and give us a better uh, lead going into halftime. Great ball by Mason to give him an opportunity to go make a play. We're going back to Kansas State for number five, James Washington. Great play here, fourth quarter. Uh, we're down by nine. We knew we had a score on this drive to stay in the game. Um, Mason did a great job finessing the pocket there. Um, I, had a, I had a terrible block on my part, got a little out of whack, footwork messed up, and then gave him a chance to get some pressure on him. And, Mason stepped up, um, delivered a heck of a ball to James over the top, and uh, him one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to outrun you most of the time, and um, he's a playmaker. That's what James does. He shows up in big-time uh, situations, and that's exactly what he did right there for us. We're in the top five. This is number four, another Mason Rudolph to James Washington touchdown. Yeah, uh, put this play on here just because uh, – it was, it was well blocked for the most part, but the block right here by Lacey and then Barry J coming up and getting another one to Spring Washington, um, that's what it's about. It's, it's given us that opportunity to, to go make a big time play. And Coach Gundy says it every Saturday before we go out um, and do the walk down Hester Street. He just says that there's one guy with the ball, there has to be 10 unselfish players, 10 guys that are willing to make that guy, you know, make a big play. And that's exactly what Lacey and, and, and Barry and the rest of the offense did there and just felt like it was a big play. Uh, guys going and, and putting stuff on the line for the other one. Number three, we have All-American freshman Justice Hill. This kid was unbelievable all year. Um, great block play right there up front by the offensive line. He makes the guy miss, stays in bounds, heck of a job balancing, and he gets in to open up, score on the first drive, if I'm not mistaken, the first drive of the game. Um, great block by the Cowboy back there. And he gets in the end zone on the first drive, which we talk about the first drive of each half. Getting in the end zone is huge to start the momentum, get off on the right note. You're playing the University of Texas, and he went and made a play to, to put us up 7 to nothing and get the ball rolling. All right, your number two play. James Washington versus Pitt. Um, great play right here. We, we had talked about all week that we were going to open up with a run, or that's, that's what we were told a couple days prior and leading up to it. 
Um, we get the ball on the first drive, backed up, and what it's some 87 yards or something like that. 91. 90, 91. There, there it is. So he, um, we, we get the look we wanted. They were in quarters, if I wasn't mistaken. We play action, faked it. Um, safety's a run support support guy, and then he bit down on it. Um, they completely got out of there, and uh, James Washington was one on one and ran a post, and he was just better than the guy that was on him, and he always is normally, and so. Um, just gave him a chance to go make a play, and that's what he did. Your number one play for the offense this season? Chris Carson right here. Down by two, two minutes left. You're on the road in Manhattan. It's a rough place to be. Um, and there he goes. He's, he takes 17, 18 yards and drags two guys in with him. Um, he really came on strong for us. And then so proud that, that he did that. Um, he's an absolute freak in the weight room. One of the best athletes I've ever been around, I've ever seen, along with number 28. and. He just, he was possessed at the end of the year. And to see what he did, um, especially right there in that situation, I think that set the tempo for the following weeks. And he ran his tail off for us. And that was a big play to put us in the lead and give us a chance to go win the game.